hey, dear saints, let's talk about abortion. So you found out you're pregnant. Your world is spinning. Everything around you is changing, and people are giving you all kinds of advice to try to get you back to life before you found out you were pregnant. Before you do anything, remember who you are. Remember your baptism. Remember that Christ, our dear Lord, went to the cross for you to forgive you all of your sins. If this baby was conceived in violence or this baby was conceived by lust, those sins too are forgiven by Christ on the cross. Remember that you are his and his eternal promises to you will be with you always. Dear child of God, remember your identity is not in what people say about you. It is not in all of the gossip that goes on in social media. Your identity was given to you by Christ in the waters of baptism as he connected you to the cross, and that cannot and will not be changed. Remember that. Dear child of God, as you go forward in all of this, confess your sins to your father. He knows them, and he wants you to forgive them so that you can be free from that burden of the sin. And also remember this from the psalmist, that God does not deal with us according to our sins. He does not repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, you are forgiven. You are Christ's. And remember this, that the baby in your womb, no matter how it was brought into this world, is a gift the baby is fearfully and wonderfully made by God the Father in heaven. This is a child that God has given to you, that Jesus has died on the cross for. This child is loved by God, created by God, redeemed by Jesus, and now given to you as a gift. Don't let the fear of the future, the fear of all of the things that are going to change, drive you to do something that's foolish. Remember who you are and remember God's gifts. Go see your pastor. If you don't know of anyone that can help you, ask him. He will have some pregnancy centers that might very well be able to give you good advice. Talk to your parents. Develop a plan. Raise the baby. If you choose not to, there are adoption centers with parents waiting to bring this child into, your, into their home. Remember, you have a wonderful church family, and you might very well be surprised about how they respond to help you as you go through this. Dear child of God, remember who you are. And now, if you are already on the other side of abortion, if you are the boyfriend and your girlfriend did this without you knowing and you're racked with guilt about what this means, Remember this, when David and Bathsheba conceived and bore the child, the child died. And when David found out the child died, he cleaned himself up and he went back in and he worshiped. There is healing in the promises of God. There is forgiveness through our Savior, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for every sin, including abortion. There is forgiveness for the guilt that we carry over things we've done and things that we didn't stop. Live in that forgiveness. Dear saints, remember your baptism. Live in your baptism. Go in his peace. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.